In today's video, I'm bringing you five facts about the Wicked Avatar, and that's coming up. What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414YGO. In today's video, five facts about the Wicked Avatar. And hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. So the Wicked Avatar will be the last of the Wicked Gods that I'm covering in these set of videos here. But anyway, the Wicked Avatar is a level 10, dark attribute, fiend and effect type monster and it has question mark for its attack and defense. The card cannot be special summoned, the card cannot also be normal summoned or set, except by attributing three monsters. Your opponent cannot activate spell or trap cards until the end of their second turn after this card is normal summoned. The attack and defense of this card are each 100 points higher than the highest face-up monster's attack on the field, except, of course, the Wicked Avatar. So, pretty awesome. It's kind of like a, a morphing kind of card, as we saw mainly throughout the manga. But with that being said, here are the facts. So like I quickly mentioned there, the Wicked Avatar is, like the other Wicked Gods, a mainly a manga card. However, it was released in the OCG and TCG. Unlike the Wicked Dreadroot and the Wicked Eraser, this one was released a little bit later. Still in the collectible tin set in 2010, except it was in Wave 2. It was released as a super rare, and that came out in November of 2010. Like this as well, it was also a Shonen Jump promo card as an ultra rare. This was released in Volume 5, Issue 11. And of course, like many cards out there as well, this has a translated Japanese which I think sounds like really good as do most of the translated Japanese names but this one is called the devil's avatar instead of wicked obviously this sounds like way darker and I think that's why I like it but let me know what you think in the comments of course, this is the Wicked God counterpart to the Egyptian God, the Winged Dragon of Ra. As you can tell by the artwork of the card, it's obviously aimed more towards the Sphere Mode version of Ra. And of course, the Avatar is pretty much, in terms of its effect, the reverse of Ra. Whereas Ra, you tribute either monsters or life points in order to gain the, uh, the higher attack. In the Wicked Avatar's case, it's basically just morphing itself into a copy of the highest monster on the field. Plus one attack point higher which is really really random but hey that that one life point higher is gonna like make that guy stronger but the best way of putting it is basically that the avatar like requires monsters to be on the field in order for it to be stronger whereas ra is of course the opposite it needs monsters tributed to be stronger this card also actually became stronger with its ocg and tcg release with its effect being a bit more stable and a bit stronger than it was in the manga whereas ra's was like reversed so when ra was released in the ocg and tcg it became weak of course, in the original manga artwork for this card, there was like a ghostly image within the sphere. This was removed once we finally got it in the OCG and TCG. Of course, the differences as well as the artwork was drawn with a slightly different shading and background. Like mentioned previously, this card is like a morphing kind of card. So in the manga, the monster changes its form depending on the strongest monster on the field. It basically changed into like a black version of that monster. In the manga, it was slightly different though. So where, say if there was like a dark magician on the field, it would copy the dark magician in terms of its stats, of course, adding that one life point, but it would actually take the form of the player who controlled the monster. In the manga's case, it was obviously Yugi. When it comes to the Wicked Avatar's attack name, it basically changes according to the monster that it's impersonating. It takes the original attack name, but adds darkness to it. As an example, when the Avatar took the form of Sly for the Sky Dragon, its attack was then called Darkness Thunder Force, which is really, really awesome. Obviously, it just adds a bit more darkness. Really simple idea, but super, super effective. But thanks for watching. This was my video, five facts about the Wicked Avatar. I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, look forward to the new archetype video next week. See if you can guess what the archetype is going to be in the section below. It's my most requested one. But anyway, if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! fact videos, things you missed, character deck duels and more, hit the subscribe button right now. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share this video with a friend, or just leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know what your favorite Wicked God was. But that is it from me. I will see you in the next video. Take care.